Hey folks, it's Jiren. Welcome to a new Let's Play. Well, a kind of different Let's Play than usual. Uh, what's special about this Let's Play is that rather than playing for 10 to 15 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever straight, I will be playing for about 60 to 90 minutes and then cut down the uh, the Let's Play into smaller parts. Uh, probably 10 to 15 minutes long, so that will give a different rhythm to the game, so I welcome uh, about your opinion about that and uh, For the game the specific game we're playing today. I'll actually play as something slightly different We'll be going for the kingdom of Egypt. And it'll be to Free do we want to stay a puppet? Yeah, we have to stay a puppet and it'll be to uh, become free as Egypt from uh, the United Kingdom through a way uh, gaining or independence or autonomy this way here to become independent from the UK and we're a freaking puppet at the moment as you can see it seems like uh, we don't have any navy or whatever all the troops are owned by the Brits so we'll have some setup to do first let's go for um, the national focus so we do have a generic tree as Egypt and I think uh, hmm I'm not sure if I'm better going down the uh, political hazel right now. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna take a specific path, but let's go for the industrial effort just so we get something to get started with. I'll probably try to increase a bit the infrastructure around. Just like that, so we got some nice infrastructure once that first military bay, uh, military thingy is done. Factory, God, that was complicated. And we have absolutely nothing, no factories at all. So that will be a little bit hard to start training some uh, brigades, but we'll still do it. Our infantry brigade is pretty basic. So, okay, let's start training that. Let's start training some tanks too. We'll add uh, one more unit of uh, the infantry. We'll set them up in Cairo. But we don't have any production, so let's try and get uh, the UK to lend lease us some stuff. Request lend lease. Except tents not required. And they can only give us convoys. I guess we'll go for that for now. So the situation we have a uh, surrounding world. We do have Italy right next door in Libya. And we have Italy here. And they will probably annex Ethiopia. So we'll have some uh, Italian land down south. As well as... Uh, I don't think there's any other problem around here. Yeah, we probably only have to deal with Italy eventually. Is that Italian road? Yeah, that's Italian. All right, so we got the uh, armament effort to completed. We could go for a uh, standard construction effort right now, or armament three. I think we're better getting some uh, civilian factories now because we're probably running low on civilian factories. Yeah, we only have one to build up things, so that will be terrible. Uh, Thank-wise, we only have the Great War tanks and the basic equipment. So let's start building some uh, Great War tanks. Now we could not, we cannot trade for steel at all. That's really bad. Now let's see how is our independence going. We're 30 points down the hole. We could be land leasing them stuff eventually. Or. Yeah, contributing war score or exporting to the overlord will grant us probably some uh, autonomy points. Is that the name? Yeah, I guess that's autonomy points. So that's probably how we are going to get it through. And we're actually an election uh, democracy, but we don't have no election. All right, so we have the uh, Spanish Civil War. I'm not sure I can intervene down that. Don't think so. I'm way too far from being able to do anything. Okay, extra research slot is really useful, especially when we're stuck like that with nothing. So we'll be working down that path. And we got some free military factories. So we, we finally finished one of the factory, I guess. The civilian factory. So let's go and get some uh, support equipment built. Making eight a year. Oof. That's a terrible ratio. Republican Spain is getting beaten on, 
and nationalist Spain is winning. I don't think a uh, Republican will come back from that unless they get a massive support from the uh, Soviets. Which will probably not happen, you know. I almost forgot that would be a good idea to get the uh, military terrorists. Terrorists? Not terrorists. What the hell? And some uh, industrial concerns might be worth it. We did spend a couple of points, but hey, these are upgrades uh, that we'll make good use of. And we can go for construction too right now. And national focus is ready to be set, so let's go for increasing autonomy. Oh, it's daily plus 05. That's interesting, that, that will probably be quicker than I, I expect it to be. And good, we're able to put down a new tank and a new infantry division. We're starting to get some troops down on the battlefield. Are we able to supply? No, we're not able to supply at all. That's uh, coming up. Alright, we were able to supply. We have a large deficit. And the cat is rolling on the floor. That was the weird sound in the background. And we're able to supply tanks, so that's very nice. Got 400 to uh, resupply for the already deployed troops. That's not good though. How many tanks do you have on hand? 36 tanks. And they only have tanks. Just tanks units. Ugh, that's so terrible. So we still have the Japanese Chinese war going on. But I think. Oh, China just annexed uh, all the miners that weren't at war, it seems. But yeah, I don't think. Uh, gonna win that and we got the equipment effort completed equipment effort one completed let's go for I'm really unsure here if I want to go down a specific path of course this uh, fascist path is always interesting but I'm afraid we will leave uh, the puppet state too fast going down that path so Italy is massing a massive amount of troops in Ethiopia. I'm actually not sure what they're doing. Uh, can I see their supply? Yeah, only 27. Really not sure what they're doing. All right, so we got the light things too completed. So let's go and start researching down the uh, artillery. Guess at this point, we'll probably need it eventually. And let's get into the production, sorry. Production. Oh, we can increase these to new weapons. We can increase these to light things. Two. Good. All right, so Poland just refused Germany's ultimatum. Seems like we're in time. And here we go. The war in August 1939. Well, seems like a pretty well-timed war. I don't think the Allies will join that war. Not yet, because Poland made its own decision to uh, stick with its own on its own. So now they will get next with the uh, Lithuania and the at the same time. And what is that? Who are you? Who are you for real? I have no clue. Is that uh, Netherlands? No. Oh, that's uh, so Warsaw already fell. That's Croatia. Okay, we got some free military factories. What do we need? Oh, we need a lot of guns. Okay, let's start building some guns in that case. We can modify the government. We're at almost 100 uh, world tension. That's not cool at all. Let's get some uh, war industrialists in here. Probably a bit late, should have done that earlier. But hey, I wasn't sure when the war was gonna start. Let's see uh, when we will be getting involved into that war. Denzing is about to fall. And I think these guys will be ready. Yeah, they're pretty much all trained. So we can stop uh, backing them up, exercising them and get ready for a war and the German Reich just declared war onto the Soviet Union which is a bit surprising 
neatly join the axis, okay? And the snow starting to set in the east. So let's hope uh, German is intelligent and holds out further invasion for a little while. They want to be successful, at least. Let's actually focus a little bit on the troops here, because I need to add up some uh, some cavalry here. Definitely need that. So some cavalry with the tank brigades, that would be a good idea, because uh, they're too hard otherwise, and it will break down too fast. That's great. Soviet troops surrounded here, Minx is surrounded. Seems like they have a pretty good push for February. And our civilian industry just completed their work, so let's create two more uh, military industry here. We can modify government, but nothing yet, because we're not at war, personally. The push is really good here from Germany. I'm honestly surprised by how well they're pushing into the Soviet Union. I don't think the Soviets were ready for that at all. Really, I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, scared at the moment. Very strong uh, launch. Sevastopol just fell, so Crimea is in the end of the Nazi. And that's not good news at all, if you're asking me. That's terrible news. Yeah, seems like there's a small stall on the front line, but it's very large. And it's only May, so it's not even the uh, best moment for a full fledged asshole. There's a justification. Oh, German Reich is justificating against Egypt. No, please don't justify against me specifically. Alright, well folks, uh, this will be enough for the first episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed, and uh, let me know what you think of the format. I actually played for, I think, uh, 80 minutes now, so an hour, 20 minutes. Uh, cut it down to I don't know how much exactly I'll be cutting it down to as I'm recording but Probably a more watchable time. Let me know if it makes sense uh, If you are able to follow the story or not Because I feel like uh, standard good old let's plays are a little bit too Drabs with long time of nothing happening. So I cut off the boring parts and try to leave uh, the most interesting things So make sure to let me know what you think and thank you for watching, see you next time. Oh, Luxember just joined. That damn stupid Luxember. I'm gonna disappear right now. That will be the culminating moment. And the Netherlands joined the Allies. And the German Reich just declared on the Allies. Okay, so I guess we have something for next uh, time.